today is your first day and what is today just been a meeting? Um, well I'm, I'm a gardener, I suppose the complicated name is horticulturalist and I know a bit about plants so I teach lots of people how to sort of um, grab hold of the gardens and get growing in them basically so I'm working with um, this group to sort of um, grab hold of these spaces which at the moment are quite kind of uh, geometrical you know they're just um, squares of, of grass and trying to break them up and use them because at the moment they're not being used they're just being maybe sat in and that's it so we're trying to use them um, in a different way productively with vegetables and fruit bushes and things like that but also to benefit the uh, wildlife as well so that get some nice plants that will bring in um, bees and pollinating insects to those plants because the more you pollinate uh, the bigger the harvest you actually get um, but also um, planting other plants that just soften the edges, you know, as well as bringing in wildlife. So we might plant some hebes, we might plant some um, honeysuckles, all sorts of things like that that, you know, just benefit the environment a bit more and uh, make it nicer for human, human beings as well. So today was the first day, is it going to be a regular group meeting every week? Yeah, I'm uh, coming in with, with Rob um, uh, once a week, I think it's most weeks, I think there's the, the odd kind of break, but most weeks I'm uh, coming down and uh, we'll do some sort of practical sessions. Um, around growing essentially and we've done it in the alleyways in um, other areas of Salford um, so it's quite nice to have somewhere that's actually ground <laughs> um, that you can uh, do stuff in as well. So what do you hope to achieve over the next few weeks to educate people, to get people involved? I don't call it education because um, I think that puts people off, people think oh my god it's going back, going back to school, that's not how I, I work, although I do teach it's not, it, basically I do a lot of participatory learning so we do had I, had I have the seeds, we'd do a seed timeline. This is one of the tools that I use. This is, um, well, we might, we might use this next week. And this is just to get people thinking about seasonality. So we get loads of packets of seeds, and people would place these seeds on this timeline as to where they think they could be planted. Um, they'd be planted either directly in the soil. These are hardy plants that are all right in frost. And um, these are plants that they would sow. These are mardy plants, plants that you'd... Uh, so undercover and they it gets people to think really about well actually you know not a lot grows in january not everybody knows that uh, and i've had people planting uh, sowing tomato seeds in october which is just not a good idea just the, the plant's not going to grow because it's not enough flight but not every, everyone realizes that there, there are proper seasons for the end there's a reason why the seasons um you know stop plants from growing it's not just to do with the cold it's to do with the lack of light as well so we use lots of kind of participatory ways of learning, but we also do a bit of self-directed learning. So people have to do a bit of research themselves. We'll provide them with information that they'll, they'll go away and do some research um, and, and hopefully find out stuff for themselves because gardening is, you know, it's an endless subject. You will always learn more and more about it every day, you know, until you're 99 or, or, or over. You're always going to be learning something new.